So after I do that warm up drill where I'm in front of the rubber, I want to move back behind the rubber to move into walkthroughs. Walkthroughs is one of my go to drills that I used to love to do when I actually pitch and I love to teach as a coach. When I'm doing the walkthroughs, it's just another way to continue to warm up my lower half and my upper half as I'm going to move through my pitch, now doing three steps before I actually pitch the ball. So this is still going to be considered a part of my warm up and I'm going to take you through the routine of what a walkthrough is actually going to look like. So there's a two step approach and a three step approach. I'm going to do the three step approach. It's actually my favorite because that extra step is going to help give me a little bit more energy in my bottom half to throw the ball even harder. So for the approach, if it's three steps, I'm going to start with my right foot, then move to my left and then land on my right foot. That last step landing on the pitching rubber with my toes off and my heel a little bit on in a good solid position bent with my front leg. So one of the biggest complications that happens with the three-step walkthrough is what do I do with my hands? Well, I'm going to explain to you exactly what happens with them. On the first step, my hands aren't going to move. They're going to stay close to my body. On the second step, I'm going to go ahead and bring my hands up. And on the third step, they're going to fall and I'm going to get to this launch, this loaded position with my arm swing back. Or maybe your arm swing is back here. Either way, that last step, our arms need to be at the top of our windup. One of the main reasons to do a walkthrough is to help to generate more power to use your lower half. With those three extra steps that I take, I'm going to gain more energy to throw the ball harder. This is a great way to push yourself and to be able to throw the ball as hard as you can. So just how many walkthrough pitches should you do in your warm up? Well, I encourage about 12, but in that 12, I'm going to tell you to break it down. The first five or six should be at about 80 to 90%. They'll look something like this. Then for the last five or six, I'm going to ask you to turn it on to 100% full speed to be able to push yourself to be the most explosive pitcher that you can be and throw the ball your absolute hardest. So what does that entail? That, may, that means that you have to use your bottom half the very best that you can use it, pushing out as far and as hard as you can towards home plate while having a loose, big arm circle and not tightening up. You also might want to consider making your steps towards the pitching rubber a little bit faster, even adding to the explosiveness. So by adding the walkthrough in your warm up, it's going to give you a little bit more explosiveness while warming up your arms and your legs before you head to the rubber for full pitch.